There's extra security at an area house of worship tonight after it was shot up overnight. Fayette County Sheriff's deputies responded just after two this morning to an alarm on Flat Creek Trail in Fayetteville and found four windows with bullet holes. Well, Fox 5's George Franco joins us now live from the Fayette County Sheriff's Office with more on our top story. George. Russ and Lisa, the Fayette County Sheriff's Office is searching far and wide for any clues into this act of violence against this house of prayer. Members of this Muslim House of Prayer arrive for a Tuesday night's worship to find Fayette County Sheriff deputies. They're investigating an early morning shooting at the Ismaili Jamad Kana House of Prayer on Flat Creek Trail. And there were four bullet holes? Correct. Located where? Towards the back of the building. Farida Nurani, a volunteer with a House of Prayer, says the bullets pierced four separate windows in the back. Now she says extra security measures are in place. It's a senseless act. Um, I don't know what it means, but uh, it's just, uh, we're just taking some extra steps to be careful. Without divulging a lot of information on the case, we're not ruling out anything of where they may come from. Uh, it does back up to a neighborhood. We did canvas that neighborhood. Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb was tight-lipped about any evidence collected so far, but does say he is working on a worst-case scenario. It could be a random act of violence. It could be a hate crime, but we're not confirming or denying that at this time. The sheriff says the Muslim House of Prayer has been at this location for five years without any problems. He says this appears to be an isolated incident. The representative from the House of Prayer described the four bullet holes as an active vandalism but the neighbor across the street wasn't as diplomatic bullet holes are a pretty strong statement um, kids vandalizing throwing rocks that kind of thing bullet holes send a very definite negative message and exactly what that message is is still unclear which is why the sheriff's office is asking anyone with any information on this case to give them a call Reporting live tonight in Fayette County, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. Hopefully some leads will come in. George, thanks.